hi this is Renee and for my first YouTube video ever so please be kind um, I wanted to talk about album I am a creative was a creative memories um, lover of albums for a long time um, they sat on my shelf really nicely I like the way the pages stayed in and I know that a lot of people didn't like them because they felt like um, they couldn't rearrange the pages but what I would do is I would give each um, month a calendar title page and then I would write in all of our uh, activities for the month and a, kind of a precursor of um, or maybe a modified project life type of journaling card and then what I would do is I would do pages like you know, for this instance this year um, we went to San Francisco so I, I just did a like a little roundup page for it and then um, I never put the months in order because like on the very next section here is a picture of my two kids this is my child and this is my child um, at a New Year's Eve party that they went to and it's totally not in order but because it's all under the January category I, I kept them all together and I didn't really worry about it and as time went along um, instead of gluing down these pictures what I would do is I would just slip them in the pocket so I guess I didn't really have a problem and I really like the way they stayed on my shelf and um, it just seemed to work really good for me well then my consultant was not really doing um, come creative memories anymore and it was harder to get a hold of her and, and to get in get the albums that I needed and I thought I would go to the we or the American Crafts binder but the one thing I don't like about them is I don't know if you can see this is when you pick them up a lot of times if you have heavier pages the pages slip out the bottom and the other thing that I don't like is there's all this extra space so sorry for that but see there's about an extra two inches of shelf space so unlike the creative memories albums that sat really nice on my shelf these do not so I've been kind of looking for a solution um, to these um, American Crafts binders because I'm not really happy with them. And one other thing that I noticed was happening, and I'm not really sure, but it's as much noticeable in these books, but it is more in my family books because this is more of a Christmas book. Um, these, when the albums get full, these parts of the pages tend to like get all crinkly. And sometimes if you don't have very many pages in the book, these tend to, to um, bend up. And I really don't like that. So my next solution is I went to a retreat this weekend. And um, they were selling the Ani and Zoe. And they sell them with the pre-made pages. And I wasn't really, it felt kind of like a waste. Because people said, well, you can wallpaper over the designs. And I thought, eh, I really don't like that. Um, so I thought I would try this new album. They come in black like this or white and they come with these pocket, 12 pocketed pages that you can only get the, um, horizontal or the vertical. So I got the horizontal and the whole thing with the one set of 12 pocket pages is, um, $39.50, which... Mm, seemed kind of expensive but um, you know sometimes you have to pay for quality and as my kids get older I'm doing less and less albums so it seemed to me um, to be a better fit but so then I ordered the plain large pockets and I thought oh my gosh this is gonna be the solution maybe I'll just intersperse these in a little kind of a la project life or you know one full page and one pocketed page um, but um, here's the thing with these. Now this is going to be my cover page for my 2014. Um, but I don't know if you can see this, but there's quite a bit of space. I'd say a good half an inch around the outside. So I'm not, I've started um, my pages for this year. I don't have a write-in calendar because... Um, I, I, we don't, both my kids are in college now, so we don't have a lot of family activities going on in the house. But I still want to maintain my um, monthly uh, 
I don't do Project Life, so I this is how I, I arrange my pages. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to be liking this with this big um, part or not, this edge around here. So I'm going to try it this year and see how it goes. I usually need like two albums per year. Uh, maybe I won't need as many um, this year because uh, both the kids are in school. But So um, so far, I still not found a good solution, but I just thought I would show these Ani and Zoe uh, pocketed pages for those people that were kind of maybe interested in seeing what they look like because when I talked to the consultants at the retreat this weekend nobody really um, knew what they would look like but this is what one looks like in the page as you can see there's some there's some um, big edges if you push it down in the corner there's a good uh, at least let's see I'll measure that let's see that's a good half an inch or no it's a full inch I guess almost a full inch three-fourths of an inch yeah around all the way around the page and the other thing I wanted to show you guys too is their side loading which I do like a lot um, but I'm not sure how much I'm gonna like that I'm not typically a real anal person um, but so anyway I just wanted to show because um, I haven't seen anybody showing these online yet um, what they actually look like and if you're um, like me and you really like the Creative Memories albums and you're sad they're gone. Um, this is maybe an option for you. Maybe not. It depends how picky you are. Anyway, thanks for watching my first video. Um, talk to you later.